Hello there and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be discussing whether I think Stephen Moffat returning to Doctor Who is a good thing or a bad thing. So, let's get into it. So, um, sorry it's taken a bit of time to uh, cover this news. Um, has has been a while and I've had a lot of stuff on but I'm finally getting around to it. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll um, get to the trailer reaction and stuff. Um, so a few, I think it was about a week or two ago, it was announced that former showrunner Stephen Moffat will, will be writing episode three i believe for series 14 slash season one um and now the title of that episode has been revealed and it is called boom um now the sort of um leaks suggest that the doctor steps on some sort of landmine that's what i've gathered from what most people have been saying um and what I, what do i think about this i was really really thrilled about Stephen Moffat coming back to Doctor Who. I, I pro I'd probably say more so than Russell T Davis probably because I just love the the way he writes. I mean don't get me wrong I love Russell T Davis. He's a brilliant showrunner, a brilliant writer and has written some amazing things but I love sort of like the way um, Stephen Moffat does like deals with time travel in a way that Russell T Davis doesn't um so you've got stuff like the Pandora opens and the big bang blink like stuff that deal is complicated and that deals with time and like paradoxes and stuff like that um it's so, like one moment where you can be sent back and you can send your grandson to deliver that mo um a letter at that moment i just feel like that's um, a really genius thing and I wish that get that sort of stuff gets explored more in Doctor Who like the sort of complicated time paradoxes I love the kind of stories that you have to watch two or three to two or three times to get the full picture of um that story um some might say yes he didn't have the best time as showrunner I mean he did write some really good episodes but um in my opinion like his like series 10 i'm not a big fan of personally but i think the episodes that he wrote for during russell t davis's first era i think are some of the best in show in the show's history you've got the girl in the fireplace blink silence in the library and forest of the dead and the empty child and the doctor dances i think he does it best when he hasn't got the pressure of um, figuring out a whole series and a story arc to do. He just focuses all his time and energy on that one specific episode. And I think that's what showrunners do best. Like um, when Chris Chibnall was writing and not when he was showrunner, um, I think they were some of his best episodes. Don't get me wrong, I loved some of Chibnall's, some of Chibnall's episodes, but um, Hungry Earth and Cold Blood, I think, that was really, really good and one of the highlights of Series 5 for me. Um, but, yeah, I just re I'm just really thrilled that um, he's coming back. And I did hear that Chris Chibnall was offered but didn't want to. I don't know whether because that was the, of the criticism that he, he received during his era. If it is, I feel like that's a bit unfair because he tried his best. Yes, Flux wasn't the best series what we had but he worked with like the conditions of the pandemic that was available um so i just think people should maybe give him uh, a second chance and hopefully maybe in the future um he will write uh some more episodes um for doctor who and so will stephen moffat because i uh, i'm really looking forward to see the to see what uh stephen moffat cooks up for this um, for Shooter Gap was first season as the Doctor and I'm really looking forward to season one so um, yeah let me know what your thoughts are on Stephen Moffat returning in the comments section down below and let me know your favourite Stephen Moffat episode let me know in the comments section down below and hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye